Emma Shea Compton's life comes crashing down when her wealthy husband, Richard, is exposed for running a massive Ponzi scheme. After his suicide in prison, Emma, once envied for her lavish lifestyle, is left with nothing but scorn from the public and betrayal from those she considered friends. To escape the backlash and rebuild her life, she decides to return to her hometown of Sonoma, where she hopes to make amends and start anew. Back in Sonoma, Emma reconnects with her childhood best friend, Riley Kerrigan. However, their relationship is complicated. Once inseparable, the friendship had ended acrimoniously after a betrayal. Riley, resentful of Emma's past departure and blind trust in Richard, now leads a fulfilling life as a single mother to her teenage son, Maddie, and the owner of a successful local cleaning company. Determined to leave her past behind, Emma seeks employment, a challenge given her notorious reputation. Despite the awkwardness, Riley offers Emma a job cleaning houses, which Emma gratefully accepts. Initially, the work is humbling for Emma, who is more accustomed to a life of affluence. But as she settles into the rhythm of her new job, she discovers a sense of satisfaction in the honest, hard work and starts to experience the healing power of manual labor and the satisfaction of self-sufficiency. As Emma adjusts to her new life, she becomes entangled in the lives of those around her. She meets Adam, a local carpenter, who intrigues her with his down-to-earth attitude and kindness. They form a tentative friendship that gradually blossoms into a deeper connection. Emma, cautious due to her bruised heart and complicated past, navigates this potential romance with care. Meanwhile, Riley struggles with her own issues. She's navigating the challenges of raising a teenager, running a business, and dealing with her feelings of abandonment and resentment towards Emma. The rekindling of their friendship is not a smooth process, with both women needing to confront the issues that drove them apart. Another pivotal character in Emma's new life is her landlady, Lyle, an elderly woman who provides Emma with a place to live as well as wisdom and support during her transition. Lyle becomes a grandmother figure to Emma, imparting life lessons and offering a loving, non-judgmental presence. As Emma spends more time in Sonoma, she begins to uncover the strength and resilience she didn't realize she possessed. She faces a series of challenges, including the skepticism of the townspeople, some of whom are eager to label her a criminal accomplice to Richard's crimes. Emma works tirelessly to prove herself trustworthy and to rebuild her tarnished reputation. Throughout the story, Emma encounters various townspeople who help her to integrate into the community. These secondary characters add depth to the narrative and offer Emma a glimpse of different family dynamics and walks of life, further enriching her journey of self-discovery and acceptance. Working side by side with Riley, Emma slowly starts to mend their fractured friendship. The two women address their past grievances and begin to understand each other's perspectives. As they open up about their vulnerabilities and dreams, a new bond of friendship, built on a more mature understanding, starts to form between them. Trouble arises when figures from Emma's past life come into the picture. The FBI questions her involvement in Richard's criminal activities, which threatens her newfound peace. Additionally, Lyle's health begins to decline, and Emma must face the possibility of losing her mentor and friend. The novel also delves into the themes of forgiveness and redemption. Emma has to forgive herself for her role, however unwitting, in her husband's fraudulent activities. She must also seek forgiveness from those she left behind when she moved away with Richard, not understanding the full impact of her departure on the people she cared about. On the other side, Riley must work through her feelings of betrayal and learn to forgive Emma for past mistakes. Amidst these emotional complexities, Emma's relationship with Adam slowly evolves. She learns to trust again and opens her heart to the possibility of love. Adam proves to be patient and understanding, respecting Emma's past and supporting her as she rebuilds her life. The emotional climax of the story comes when Emma confronts a final obstacle that threatens to undermine all the progress she has made. With the help of Riley, Adam, and other supportive friends, she overcomes this challenge, solidifying her place in the community and demonstrating her resilience. Emma's transformation is not just personal. She also impacts the lives of those around her. Through her determination and willingness to make things right, she inspires others to look beyond their initial judgments 
and embrace second chances. In the end, Emma finds the life she wants, not one defined by wealth or status, but by genuine connections, personal growth, and a sense of belonging. The life she wants is a story of hardship, forgiveness, and the enduring power of friendship and love. It's about starting over, finding purpose, and creating a life that is truly one's own, even in the wake of devastating mistakes and misjudgments. Emma's journey from the ashes of her old life to the comforting embrace of a community that eventually accepts her is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the possibility of redemption and new beginnings. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.